Why don't I go ahead and jump in and then let the other guys uh, follow. So, you know, to me, a penetration test is a simulation. It's a simulation of a, a real attack. I like to use the, uh, the terms uh, skilled and determined to describe the attacker. Uh, the one thing that I think you'll find unique is that pen testers are generally much more trained and capable and experienced than a lot of the real criminal uh, bad guys, hackers, stuff out there doing these things. So, uh, you know, it, it is a simulation of a real attack. Uh, we want to make it as realistic as possible. Uh, but the, uh, the, the great part about it is, is that the pen tester is ethical and they're careful. They're not a criminal. They're not uh, doing things with malicious intent. Uh, I think, too, when we talk about definitions of what is a pen test, uh, we talk about maybe some things that a pen test isn't as well. A pen test can't be everything to, to everyone. And, you know, one of those things is that a pen test really isn't that stealthy or it isn't uh, covert. Uh, we will be noisy. We will, uh, as rapidly as possible, try to find as many vulnerabilities that uh, you know could lead to some really serious consequences. So we're looking at what matters. Uh, we're reporting it to our clients and, and basically helping you uh, prevent a, a real attack. So there's my my initial definition, at least. Dylan, Kyle, anything you want to add? Yeah, I mean, um, you know, to me, a penetration test is a, it's a point in time test, right? Used to try to gauge your organization's overall security posture. And we do this by trying to find as many vulnerabilities as possible, exploiting them and determining the overall potential impact uh, by tying and chaining some of those vulnerabilities and exploits together. Um, as Brian said, it is not meant to be stealthy whatsoever. Um, the point is to find as many vulnerabilities as we can so that uh, you leave and you have results and, and remediation guidelines to make your security posture even stronger than, than when uh, it was. Yeah, you know, and I would just add too on, on part of uh, what Brian mentioned there is uh, kind of interesting. I don't think a lot of people realize that the majority of attacks that actually happen in the wild are just kind of drive by or attacks by script kiddies who don't actually have a lot of skill. So when we talked about, you know, talk about skilled and motivated attackers, um, most of the people that are actually doing real attacks out there in the wild are not really that skilled and motivated. So a penetration test a lot of times is actually a little bit more um, complex and, and thorough than even a real attack in the wild might be. So I think that's a good point to highlight there. You know, Kyle, you just mentioned something, um, script kitty. What is that? Sure. So script kitty, a common term kind of used in the hacking and networking security communities. Um, basically, if you ever go out on the internet and look for security tools or look up exploits for various types of software, it's really easy to quickly find, you know, a whole bunch of exploits where people have already written the code for you. Basically, you just have to copy down the code, maybe change a couple uh, characters, put in an IP address or a domain name and hit enter a lot of times. And, and sometimes hacking, as we call it, can just be as simple as that. So script kiddies are the people who uh, kind of go out there with minimal diligence or knowledge and are, you know, utilizing some of these scripts maybe in, in widespread fashion, just kind of throwing things at the wall, seeing what sticks uh, with a low level of skill and, and diligence. All right. So those are like attackers of opportunity as opposed to attackers of intent or something like that. Yeah, that's a great way to put it. Yep. All right. Gotcha, gotcha. Okay. So if I'm a if I'm a a an, uh, CISO or uh, owner of a uh, of a company, what is the is the purpose of this test to tell me that I suck? Um, you know, why why am I why am I doing this? No, no. The purpose is to uh, show you how good pen testers are, right? No. <laughs> yeah. No. And, you know, the, the real purpose is always compliance, right? You know, PCI or somebody else tells you that you need to do these things and. You know, I'm joking again, really the reality is, is that there's a lot of reasons that people do penetration testing and uh, good or bad compliance is always one of those things, but we always try to make sure or help our clients, uh, you know, make sure that that's not the only reason that they're doing it. Uh, sometimes, you know, focusing only on credit card information or healthcare information can uh, lead to not finding vulnerabilities and issues that in the protection of other types of information and that type of thing. So, 
you know, really, what is the purpose? I would say the purpose is for us to help identify and make aware to our clients these vulnerabilities and these attack paths that could lead to either a compromise of their systems or their data or even the availability of those systems, you know, things like denial of service. Yeah.